Did you just break that brand new saw, Kelly? He come over here and picked my saw up, looked at it, now I'm gonna go back in. I heard it makes you stop dipping too. Oh my god. That's worse than that hot fucking hot chip. Chew it, chew it real fast. That thing's worse. Chew it, chew it, chew it. Come on, chew it. <laughs> I know you don't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> You're sweating now? Oh, yeah, that shit there. That's worse than that hot chip. What was it? I have no idea what the hell you gave me. Was it sour or something? Yeah, it was very sour. <laughs> sour ass sour. Everybody keeps asking. It's uh where's where's the lemon? Where's the where's the lemon gate? Where's the where's the hydra gate? Well, let's uh Let's go watch it work. We're actually getting to use it today. We're in a little bit of wood that's sufficient for it. We'll let y'all watch her work for a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, it's doing a pretty good job. It has its time and its place. It's not meant for that typical stuff that, that small stuff y'all was watching us work the other day. It's not meant for that. That's to eliminator wood. But if you're in timber about like this, this stuff here is about 14 years old. And it grew really well. And we're running over it with the skitter. Y'all can see the tops out there. There's not a whole bunch of limbs left on it to begin with. We'll let him get that out. He'll be done with this drag. Mike will be bringing that in. We'll walk the other side. We'll let y'all watch it from this side here. Now, the only thing I've found so far I'm not a fan of with it, if your wood's not pretty your tops are not all pretty well the same length. If you have a lot of variation in length in your tops, it can hang you up in spots. We'll go over and we'll watch your work. We'll see what y'all think about it. All right, so y'all see all those little frillies? Those are almost impossible to get off. If y'all are understanding what I'm see all those little frillies right there on the end? Uh, when your meal's being extra picky, sometimes you gotta you gotta redo it. But hey, I mean that's a full bucket of, of wood. This stuff here, processed, is about 38 feet long. It's uh this stuff here's got a probably an average uh, it's about a six inch DBH. I've yet to add my chains in there to it. I think once I get my chains in there, those little frillies will be a lot less. But you can see how it, it, uh, not necessarily wanting to get all those little frillies off. But I guess that's what a pole saw and a set hand's for. I mean it's it's not bad. It's not doing it's not doing terrible. And I think what he's fixing to do here is just what I was fixing to explain. Uh, it seems like if you can get the nose the tongue of it, if you can get that up higher, he's gonna take his piece of hardwood that he uses for a broom and he's gonna put that kind of where the tongue's gonna sit at and then he's gonna set the tongue on that and it gets the, the nose of it up higher it makes it easier to not uh, hang up the way it was way it, you saw it delim in that last bucket way it's wanting to hang up
didn't cut in or pull any of the limbs off of the knives that time. Let's see how clean this comes. I mean, it's definitely not delaminator clean, but it's not bad. And it's really helping, if I don't fall down on y'all, it's really helping that this stuff is fairly clean out there underneath it. It's not got a lot of underbrush in it. The thing with the deliminator is you can take the deliminator and put that bushy stuff or viney stuff. You can put that in your deliminator and it helps chew those out for you. See like this here, you shouldn't even need to put it through there. So that second thinning that we typically work, this, this hydrogate is going to be phenomenal for it. Or even that little bit older first thinning, that 16, 17 year old first thinning that we work, but the limbs just don't want to come off of it. This is gonna, this is, this is gonna be the bee's knees on here. Like I said, once I get my my chains in there, it'll 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 make it even easier to deal them. I will say, and, and the main reason we went ahead and set it up up here or in this set is the ground is like borderline wet where we we pretty well know that it's it would be an extreme hassle to get the box in here put that on the other side it's a little bit shorter that'd be a back rack wood and we're having we're still having to double bunk this but anyway we we know that the deliminator was going to be a problem getting it in here that thing there, the loader can just drag it around, do whatever it needs to with it, because it does have wheels back here. It's very light. It rolls around really easy. It shocked us at how easy it is to maneuver around. We don't even use the we get we get the skitter to get it to the loader, and then once it's dropped off at the loader in the road out there, that that man does the rest of it himself. And like that one limb you see sticking up right there, as he keeps piling wood on top of that pile, it'll, that stuff will come off. So, I don't know. I'm impressed with it. See, it has its place. It's, it's not an everywhere thing. Definitely not made for 12 year old first inning, like what we were cutting a couple days ago, yesterday. But this little bit older first inning, that, you know, this stuff that's grew well and has a little bit of size to it. It's, I think it's the bee's knees.
where he hung it. See, it's not gonna get it perfect. It's not gonna do it as clean. But it do, it'll do it good enough. This is probably about as small a wood as you're gonna wanna use it in though. We get in our normal wood we stay in. I think we're gonna be extremely happy. Little bit better first thinning today. It's wet and it's been hard to put our box in here. So we set the gate up. It's not as fast and it's definitely not as clean, but it does work pretty good in this little bit better first thinning. This stuff here is about 14 years old. It's gonna be about 38 feet processed. The gate's going to have its place. That's the thing I think a lot of people was misunderstanding me on the other day with the deliminator. With all those vines he just dug out right there, the deliminator would have ate those out of it. Once I get some chains welded in it, it'll get better. It's not a bad little thing. I mean, it done a pretty good job cleaning that out right there. But it's still not a deliminator, but it definitely makes it easier to wheel in this little bit better first thinning that we would typically use a deliminator in to help speed the one loader that we use up. We're using it today, I figured I'd show y'all. Little bit better first thinning today. Wet and it's been hard to put our box in here. So we set the gate up. It's not as fast, and it's definitely not as clean, but it does work pretty good in this little bit better first thing. And this stuff here is about 14 years old. It's gonna be about 38 feet processed. It's, the gate's gonna have its place. That's the thing I think a lot of people was misunderstanding me on the other day with the deliminator. With all those vines he just dug out right there, the deliminator would have ate those out of it. Once I get some chains welded in it, it'll get better. It's not a bad little thing. I mean, it done a pretty good job cleaning that out right there. But it's still not a deliminator, but it definitely makes it easier to wheel in this little bit better first thinning that we would typically use a deliminator in to help speed the one loader that we use up. So. 
We're using it today, I figured I'd show y'all.